Hello, water signs, sun, moon, and rising. This is Dean. I hope you're doing well. Welcome and a welcome back to my channel where you receive divine guidance and encouragement. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as every like, comment, and share helps my channel to grow. And if you are browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it is not by coincidence. This is a divine connection, so go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, I invite you to join me on Instagram at you are following D2. So water signs, this is a general reading for you that comes to you from the power of surrender cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's get to your message. God Most High, Angel Spirit, guys, brings the love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for the water signs that's for their well-being? This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. All right, you have one card that jumped out of the deck. We're going to take that first. So the card that jumped out of the deck that is an important message for you, right, is surrender your belief to scarcity. The universe is asking you, water signs, to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond the wildest your wildest dreams so surrender to the idea of scarcity or the belief of scarcity you may have grown up being told that money doesn't grow on trees as i did as well and that can create um the feeling that there's not enough it creates it's where the root of scarcity begins to be planted in our subconscious. But you are being encouraged to release that and let it go and know that there is an abundance of whatever you may need, whether it is finance, friends, joy, happiness, peace, wisdom, material wealth, etc., etc. There is abundance that is available to you that will exceed your wildest dreams you just have to take the step to reprogram right yourself or to dismantle the um distorted beliefs that have been imposed upon you and focus on the fact that there's abundance available to you that God, creator, source, most high, the universe, however you see the higher power, is limitless. There's more than enough for everyone. What is required is that you just align yourself with that frequency or that vibration. I feel like for you, it would be beneficial if you created your own mantra of positivity as it relates to abundance, or you can find one here on YouTube, um, or if you just type in your search engine, there will be affirmations or mantras available for you that you can engage in that will help you to change your mindset, especially as it relates to abundance. There are many powerful affirmations that you can listen to here on uh, YouTube. Actually, I also listen to positive uh, mantras regarding abundance because again, I grew up with that mantra of there is um, not enough, you know, there's scarcity, money doesn't grow on trees, etc., etc. And I have also put in the work to change that mindset. And I can tell you for sure, I see the results of um, dismantling that negative mantra in my life, that negative mindset, all right? If I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> all right, water signs. So let's get to your main message, which is surrender the idea 
you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone, water signs. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So you're being encouraged to take a step back. There's nothing wrong with expressing love and concern for someone, but you can't fix anyone. We all change when we're ready to change. There's no way that you can make anyone change. Everyone's on a path that is divinely designed for, for them. We're on all on this journey called life, but we're all walking a different path. And yes, we may see how there is a need for someone to make some adjustments and modify the path that they're on so that perhaps things will be easier for them and that's all well. However, we can't force them. They may not see what we see. And because we're on the outside looking in, we have a great concern, right? Of course, because we love those who are around us, but we can't force them to change. They can't see what we see. And even if we do our very well, our very, excuse me, our very best to express what we see from the outside looking in, they're not always open to receive and be receptive. And if the truth be told, we've been there ourselves. Haven't you, water sign, been there yourself? Where someone was saying ABC to you and you're like, yeah, no, I don't receive that. I've been there myself. I could see what they see. Well, I'm sorry, what they saw. But at some point, I had a revelation. And when I had that revelation, excuse me, I made necessary changes for myself, for my well-being. So I've also been on the opposite side where I've said, you know, to someone that I could see A, B, and C, and they just weren't receptive. And no, no matter how many times I re-expressed what I was viewing right they just weren't open to it and so because of that they would not receive what i had to say so i had to come to the realization that they will change when they're ready to change so i took a step back and let it go because i realized that i could not fix that person regardless of how much I cared for them, loved them, um, supported them. They just couldn't see it. And that's okay because everyone will align with what, um, with the path that they're on for their greatest and highest good when they absolutely get to that point. The process is what it is takes time. Some of us um, make adjustments sooner than others and that's okay because that's where they're at. We have to honor that. We have to respect that. We have to um, yeah just respect it and know that when the timing is right they will receive the awakening. It may be easy for them, or it may come with some challenges. Nevertheless, it is their choice. They have to choose. And as they do choose it, they will begin to heal from whatever they've experienced that was not for their well being. Because we cannot invoke on someone else what we see would be for their well-being if they're not open to receive it. If they're not open, they're just not open. 
as the message states, each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. We can't change anyone. All right, water signs. Well, thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. Um, give me a thumbs up if this message resonated with you. And in the comment section, drop me a white heart. All right. Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now, Water Signs.